This method for learning the deadlift proceeds in five steps. Step one, stance. The stance for the deadlift is about the same as the stance for a flat-footed, standing vertical jump, about 8 to 12 inches between the heels, with the toes pointed slightly out. The bar should be one inch from your shins. For almost every human being on the planet, this distance places the bar directly over the middle of the foot, the position over which the bar stays on its way up to lockout. The angle of the toes will be at least 10 degrees and may be as much as 30 degrees. Step two, grip. After you have assumed the correct stance, grip the bar, double overhand, and thumbs around at a width that places your hands in a position close to your legs without being so close that you rub your thumbs against them as you pull. Take your grip on the bar by bending over at the waist, stiff-legged, without bending the knees or lowering the hips. Most important at this point and for the following steps is that you do not move the bar. You have gone to considerable trouble to place the bar directly above the midfoot, and if you move it during this or any subsequent step, you will have undone step one. Step three, knees forward. With your grip secure, Bend your knees and drop them forward just to the point where your shins touch the bar. Again, do not move the bar. Now, shove your knees out just a little so that they are in contact with the elbows and are parallel to your feet. Remember, do not lower your hips. Do not move the bar. Step four, chest up. This will be the most difficult step for most people. Squeeze your chest up into the deadlift start position. While gripping the bar, shove your rib cage up so that your chest rotates up between your arms. Let this contraction continue down your back until your lumbar spine is tightened into contraction as well. When you are in the correct position, stare at a point 12 to 15 feet in front of you on the floor so that your neck can assume its normal anatomical position. You might need to think about keeping your chin down. This step will be difficult because of hamstring tension. Remember, the back muscles and the hamstrings are in a war for control over your pelvic position, and the lower back must win. Your hips will probably be higher than you want them. That's just fine. After you do a few deadlifts and your hamstrings get warm, the movement will feel better and more familiar. Step five, the pull. Take a big breath and hold it. Remember, air is support for your back. And then drag the bar up your legs. This means exactly what it says. Drag implies contact. And the bar never leaves contact with your legs all the way up to the lockout at the top. Done correctly, the bar path will be a straight vertical line, starting at its position directly over the midfoot and ending at the top at arm's length with your chest up, knees and hips in extension, spine in normal anatomical position, your eyes looking slightly down, and your shoulders back. Down should be the perfect opposite of up. Be sure that you lower the bar by first unlocking your hips and knees and then shoving your hips backward and letting the bar slide down your thighs in a straight vertical line. As the bar passes your knees, you may bend them to finish setting the bar down, never unlocking the back. Pull a set of five, concentrating especially on your back position and keeping the bar close to your legs. If you're sure your form is good enough, add weight for a few sets until it feels like the next increase might be a problem and that's your first deadlift workout. 